Well, the state worker who clicked the wrong button received dozens of death threats, and the state says it's not helping the already intense work environment. Bridget Namata continues our team coverage tonight. Bridget. Yeah, Marissa, the Hawaii Emergency Management Agency acknowledges the huge mistake and they're taking steps to fix the public's trust. But I am told it cannot tolerate the death threats telling me law enforcement will investigate. The state says employees are on their best behavior. It's a pretty intense atmosphere because we know that the, literally the whole world is watching us. As for the worker who made the mistake, I'm told the 10-year veteran isn't doing so well. He understands that he affected a lot of people, and so he, he's coping, and, and we're doing everything we can to support him. A lot of people are calling for his resignation. Mm -hmm. Is that a possibility that he is facing? We're not going to limit the possible outcomes of the investigation, and so depending on what they find, there may be, there may be actions taken as a result of it. I'm told the state agency is collecting and cataloging the death threats and will hand them over to police shortly. Unfortunately, it's the way some people blow off steam. It was a, it was a hard event on Saturday. A lot of people were angry, um, so to a certain extent we understand it. On the other hand, there's no reason to do that. As for clicking the wrong option and how that even happened, the state warning point center where the mistake happened is now completely secured. If you don't work there, you're not allowed in, which is why we're outside of the building and not inside. It's due to the ongoing investigation. It shows how easy it would be to make that mistake. We're getting emails and calls from, from software designers saying, you know, I could do better than that. Is a new vendor something that you guys are looking into? I, you know, like I said, we're not going to limit what could come out of the, the um, investigation if there's a finding that, um, you know, we need a, a, an interface that can't be supported by this vendor, we would look at another vendor. Going back to the death threats. Death threats are a crime. The Attorney General's office tells me it has asked the state agency to send them information so they can investigate. Marissa.